Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and we are here with another interesting tutorial. Today we are going to see how to convert your Raspberry Pi into a Jenkins server. Jenkins is an open source automation server, in DevOps Jenkins play the key role of continuous integration and delivery. So let's get started. We are in the Raspberry Pi, if you don't have the Raspbian or Noobs installed on your Pi, please check out the article on tipsforyou.com for more information. First step is to check the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. You can do the installation of Jenkins from the Raspberry Pi terminal. I would like to take SSH into the Pi and do the setup. To do that we will enable SSH first. We have the SSH enabled in Raspberry Pi, connect to your Pi from your PC using PuTTY software. Login with your Raspberry Pi username and password. Default username is Pi and password is Raspberry. You must change it for better security. installation of Jenkins, we need Java as dependency. So the first step is to check if Java is already installed and if not available, install Java. Follow the commands and the details are also given in the video description. Use this command for the installation of Java if you don't have it already installed. Now it's time to install Jenkins. Follow along.
Great, Jenkins download and installation is complete. You can check the status of Jenkins using the command system ctl status jenkins.service. Let's open the Jenkins web page now in the browser using the IP address of Raspberry Pi and port number 8080. The first login will be asking for default administrator password. This is available at the location slash bar slash lib slash Jenkins slash secrets slash initial admin password. When using normal cat command the permission will be denied to read the file, so use sudo to read the password. Enter the password on the screen and click on continue. You will be taken to the customization screen where you can select plugins which need to installed. I would prefer to select install suggested plugins so that standard necessary Jenkins plugins are installed. It may take few minutes, wait for the installation to complete. Once the plugins are installed, you will be asked to set the admin user and password. Give the details and click on save and close. Now we are done. Jenkins is ready and get started by clicking on start using Jenkins.
you can go to Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins and available to see the installed plugins. You can also start creating new jobs by clicking on Create New Jobs. I hope this is helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel and like the video.